This is considered one of the worst Sonic games of all time. Not only is Sonic Freeriders considered a bad game, it literally killed the Sonic Riders franchise. But why was it so bad? Because of the Xbox 360 Kinect. This game was not playable on a controller, requiring players to use their entire bodies to play the game. This meant to hit off the craziest tricks in the game, you had to physically jump and do 360s in the air. I mean, in all honesty, a Sonic Riders game where you are physically riding extreme gear sounds like a lot of fun. It can't be that bad, right? Well, I streamed until I beat Sonic Freeriders, and this is how that went. This game has a fire intro, but I accidentally skipped it because I was holding my hand out. This was completely unintentional as I was fully prepared to jam out to the intro. I accidentally skipped the intro! The controls of the game are pretty simple. You move in whichever direction you lean in, and if you lean forward, you get more speed. In fact, the controls are so simple, I felt so confident that I just skipped the tutorial. Not to mention, I did play this game briefly as a child. We're going straight to the actual game. We don't need this. It was time to hop into Sonic Free Riders. You could definitely tell the budget for this game was a lot less than the old Riders games. For one, the cutscenes aren't even cutscenes. They're just these images with dialogue, and for some reason, there's a weird TV screen filter on them. This game also barely has a story. A disguised Eggman sets up a Grand Prix with a huge prize, and Sonic and his friends sign up to win the prize. Very typical, boring storytelling. Like any writer's game, you have the option to play from two different stories, Team Heroes and Team Babylon, which includes the Babylon Rogue introduced in the first writer's game. There are three more stories you can play, but more on that later. We begin begin our journey with Team Heroes. Our first opponents in the story are Team Rose, which includes Amy, Cream, and for some reason we have Vector? Huh? The first race began and I was enthusiastic. Race number one, here we go! Watch this chat, ready? Ready chat? Ready? <laughs> oh, that is really good! <laughs> I'm cracked, bro! <laughs> Put some respect on my name, chat! This game does something interesting where during the story you actually play missions rather than full races. There are only a handful of full races in the whole game. Our next mission was to grab 100 rings as tails. Although I was having a little bit of problems having the connect to recognize where I was leaning, this mission was not that hard and I finished it with no problem. Dude, okay, that's the problem with this game, right? You can't be precise. That's the issue with this game. It's really hard to be precise. But if you put your O to it, chat, you can go crazy! Our next mission was to hit as many grind rails as Sonic. Grind challenge. Grind three or more times and cross the block. I can grind. I can grind all day. That's what she said. <laughs> These are actually a bit challenging because to chain your grind rails, you have to jump precisely enough right before the rail you're on ends to jump onto the next one. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, you have to jump off the rail and get on the other one? Grinding is actually pretty fun in this game because you have to also maintain your balance to maintain your speed while grinding. After easily beating Team Rose, it was time for our next opponents. Shadow! Huh. Agreed. Team Dark is our next opponent, and instead of Omega being there, they have this generic blue Eggman robot. Yeah, they got some random robot, but they could have had Omega. I don't know why they didn't have Omega. Our first mission is to do air tricks. Air trick? Get at least 14 points. I don't remember how to do this. Oh my god, I got an S rank! Turn me up, chat! Hurry up! Next mission was to punch things with Knuckles, which by the way was genuinely a lot of fun. You get to be Knuckles IRL. Watch this chat. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, I'm Knuckles, bro. That was embarrassing, but at least I finished the race. I can't believe I'm admitting this, but I was having fun on Sonic Free Riders. Our next mission was to end up in first place as Sonic after one lap. I don't know if it was my lighting, but my Kinect was doing a fantastic job with capturing my motion, and I was genuinely having a blast playing Free Riders. S rank after S rank tricks, I beat the mission with no problem. Yeah, this game is lit! I forgot how many cool things they had in this game, bro! Turn me up, chat! 
After beating off Team Dark, we finally face off against Team Babylon. Regardless of why we're here, this Grand Prix is ours, Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, Jet sounds so weird in this game. What the heck? Our next mission was to do air tricks as Knuckles. It was going great, but for some reason, I was having trouble getting tricks off on this turn. What? What? I jumped! I jumped! What the? Also, every stage has some fun little gimmick to it, like swimming or using a jet ski. In this stage, you had fog that covers your screen that you have to wipe off once you pass this bridge. I thought it was pretty funny. This game definitely has charm in it that was unfortunately overlooked due to this game being a Kinect exclusive. Our next mission was to ride these air rings as tails, which I'll be honest, I was not a fan of for multiple reasons. For one, the controls are not very clear. I was not sure what I was doing. I was 100% doing this section wrong as I find out later in my playthrough. Yet, I beat this section with almost no problem because this section is almost completely automated. Without really having to put any much effort, I got an A rank. Jack, how do I do this? I mean, I got it, but I didn't get the S rank. I'm confused. I'm confused how to do the flying thing. Our next mission after this was once again to place first after one lap. This race was kind of intense. S rank for you, chat. Here we go. 360 S rank, I promise, for you, chat. This is for you. Yeah, X rank. I got an X rank. Lock in. Nice. Good work. Good work. Boost. Boost. After winning that race, we finally, after nine missions, have our full first three lap race against Jet the Hawk. This is pretty much how every story goes in this game. You have 10 missions, nine of which being some arbitrary objective, and the last one being a full three lap race against a rival. Oh, 1v1? I win these, bro. Jet was low key cooking me for a while, but I locked in and absolutely smoked him. Lock in, lock in, Hassan. Lock in, bro. B. This is not good. Lock in. Okay, I can't mess up on this one, bro. Final lap. And I'm sweating. Oh, come on, bro. This boost, this boost, boost, this boost. He's right behind you. If I, if I lean forward, I get sharper turns. I didn't know that. And with that, Team Heroes was complete. And I was actually having a lot of fun. It was time to start Team Babylon. With Team Babylon, our first opponents are Team Dark. Right away, I noticed a big problem with Team Babylon's story. You see, in skating, you can either ride regular, where your left foot is in front, or goofy, where your right foot is in front. In Free Riders, you can equip two different gears. These gears either give you a power up or the ability to use the speed, fly, or power areas. But you can't use both gears simultaneously. To switch gears, you have to switch your board orientation by switching between regular and goofy, which makes sense when you have two gears. I wanna hit this rail. Get on the rail, get, get on the rail. Get on the rail! Wait, why is he going? The problem with the Babylon story is that when using Jet, his speed gear is set to the goofy gear. And I do not naturally skate goofy, so it made things really awkward when trying to hit the rails. If you only have one gear, why can't we just choose which orientation it's on? I tried riding goofy for this whole run, but it felt very unnatural. So to account for this, I decided that right before I would hit a grind rail, I'd just change my orientation. Despite those difficulties, I still got an S rank on the first mission. Have mercy, you're cooked. I got second place, that's not bad. Our next mission was with Wave, and this time we had to keep our speed over 135 miles per hour. Some of these missions in the game are a complete joke, and this is definitely one of them. I beat this one with zero problem. That was light work, chat! And for our third mission, we had to be Storm and collect 60 rings within the time limit. These missions were not anything crazy, but to be honest, I was just happy to be able to play a Sonic characters that we probably will never see again as this series is practically dead. It had been almost an hour of playing Free Riders though, and I was definitely feeling it. Dude, I, I can't keep jumping, chat. Guys, my knees are crumbling from jumping. Our next opponent was Team Rose. This mission was actually pretty fun. I had to grind on three or more rails as Jet, but this time I had the speed gear on both feet. Thank God. Dude, I, I, I didn't see the rails. I told you I was good at grinding, Jet. The game was finally catching up to me though. Dude, they just throw me race to race without any pauses. Oh my God, bro. Like, relax, I need a break. We had another speed challenge with Wave, which once again was super easy. 
For mission 6, we finally had a race. Granted, it was only a one lap race I had to lock in. Guys, this map low-key hard, I might lose, I'm not gonna lie. Cracked. Cracked. It had been over an hour of playing Freeriders and I had yet to lose a race. That's another complaint that I have with this game. This game is way too easy. Sometimes the game literally plays itself. It feels like the computer players are doing their best not to take you over. That could be a good thing though as Sega probably thought that people would have a tough time with the motion controls. And finally, our stories intersect as Team Babylon faces off Team Heroes, except this is a completely different stage. So in this game, you actually play off the same team twice. Our first mission was to punch things as Storm, and then grab rings as Wave. And then we finally have our one lap race as Jet, and gear issues were still messing with me. Dude, I keep forgetting that, that Jet's gear is on the back foot, that's so dumb! I keep forgetting that. But I was able to beat the race no problem after some adjustments. One thing I do appreciate in this game is just being able to see the Babylon Rogue in action again, like Storm absolutely glazing Jet. Why? Luck is a big part of victory. This just means you are the lucky one today. Hey, nobody talks trash about the boss's weight. What a glazer. Still not luck. And finally, for our 10th race, we had our three lap rematch with Sonic, our final race. I took a massive hit to begin the race and was almost certain that this race was gonna be a loss. Yeah, we lost. And this game was also having an issue with tracking me for some reason. This is where a lot of the frustration for this game comes from. The game also happens to be very forgiving. Like, how in the world was I able to just teleport onto this grind rail? <laughs> Nevertheless, I locked in on the third lap and took down Sonic with an S rank, even though I was getting carried hard by the game. An hour and 20 minutes later, two stories down, I was definitely feeling the pain. Oh my god. But now with Team Babylon done, we finally have access to two new stories, Team Dark and Team Rose. Time for Team Rose. With Team Rose, our first race is against Team Heroes and the track is Rocky Ridge. Oh, and thank god Amy's gears were on the right side. But the non-stop Freeriders was getting to me. Dude, I'm not even jumping chat, I'm not gonna jump, I'm sorry, I can't. I can't do it. This was a simple mission however, and our next mission was to ride these earrings as cream and I still didn't know what I was doing. Dude, how? How do I fly? The game still carried me to a dub though. Game hard carried me, but I still have no idea how to fly. Next, we had a vector mission who actually rides a motorcycle. His controls are different. It's just a simple steering with your hands. Way easier than using your entire body and actually pretty fun. And he had a speed mission, so it was super e- Never mind. I didn't realize I was rapidly losing speed on turns, and this was actually my first failed mission of the game. But after correcting my mistakes, we S-ranked. Our next three missions were against Team Babylon and Metropolis Speedway. Our first mission with Cream was to keep our air gauge up until we reached the goal. A unique mission, fun, but we easily beat it. After a quick ring mission with Vector, we were on to our race with Amy. This is where I started to get a little frustrated with the game. For one, the game didn't recognize my jump here. Dude, I jumped. See? This is what I mean, bro. You, 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 you. At this point, this triggered me because I was tired and I needed to be rewarded for my efforts because every little jump was hurting me. On top of that, I was losing the entire race and magically came up in first. I appreciate the game making it easy for the player, but sometimes it's way too easy. I'm at a point where I'm super comfortable with the controls and I want to at least have some sort of competition to get my win. But maybe that's just wishful thinking. Spoiler alert, it definitely is. We finally race off against Team Dark in Magma Rift for our final four missions. After a quick punch and air gauge mission, it was time for an Amy mission where I discovered a massive secret about free riders. You can literally get S rank tricks without even having to jump. Okay, I got an S rank without even jumping. All you really have to do is squat. I was wasting extra energy for no reason at all. Finally, we have our last race against Shadow where I put this to the test. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. Come on, go, go, go. W, nice, nice. S rank, not bad. <laughs> dude, dude, squatting makes the game so much easier. Oh, and that's their Team Rose story, man. And yeah, squatting is better and easier. With Team Rose done, it was finally time for our final story. Team Dark. Real quick, if you're enjoying this video, please drop a like and subscribe. It would greatly help the channel. Thank you very much. 
As we begin Team Dark, we first played against Team Babylon, and I'm still complaining about the robot. They literally could have just had Omega. But more on that robot later. Spoiler alert, it's still lazy writing. Our first race is with Shadow. I wish they would have given him his skates like the OG Sonic Riders, but this is fine, I guess. Oh my god, I'm getting destroyed. Healing tired or sore, take a break. No, dude. I told chat I would I wouldn't end stream until I beat the game. And I'm beating the game. I was getting tired with lazy jumps, but I had to lock in for chat. I was bumping into every wall in this track, but it literally felt like the opponents were slowing down for me because I magically ended up in first place. Bro, did I get first place? No surprise here. With Rouge, we had a new mission. We had to pass through gates within the time limits. Fun mission, but also really, really easy. We then had our robot who introduced a really fun mechanic in the game. The power-ups and free riders all have their own controls. In this mission, you have to pick up rockets that you throw like footballs which lock onto opponents ahead of you. Now we play against Team Heroes in Dolphin Resort. Our first mission with Rouge and it was an air ride challenge. This took me a while. I have no idea how to fly still. Dude, how do you freaking fly? I tried flapping. No, I'm gonna keep doing this, I'm gonna keep doing this, I'm gonna keep doing this, see what happens. I literally just do this, what the heck? Okay, dude. Chalk. Did I fail? Oh, I, fa I passed. Failed. Oh, no way, bro. I need a restart. I need a restart. I need a restart. Bro, come on. I tried like waving. This? Maybe like this? Bro, that was so bad. That was so bad! Okay, 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 okay. What am I doing wrong? I tried standing still. Nothing was working. Until five minutes later, I realized all you have to do is move your arms in the direction that you want to go. That was a lot easier than I thought. Our next mission with the robot was another easy rocket mission. Throughout Team Dark Story, it's being noted that our little robot character keeps breaking down. This is really the only important plot point in the Freerider story. We then had a quick and easy rivalry against Sonic, only for me to realize that Shadow's rail grind is on the goofy side. At least I know how to play around it now though thanks to Jet. We now had an air tricks mission with Rouge against Team Rose and man it is so much easier when all you have to do to jump is actually just squat. Next you play as the blue robot in a time mission which I actually managed to lose the first time. No come on! That's my third failed mission. Something really cool about the tracks in this game is that they are really interactive. In this track, Forgotten Tomb, for example, you have to crouch to avoid hitting these walls, and if you hit enough walls, you fail the mission because you have less time. With some better crouching this time, I was able to get past this mission with 4 seconds to spare. At the end of the race, in the cutscene, we see that the robot is basically destroyed and can no longer race. More on that after we finish Team Dark. The next mission was with Shadow, and it was a grind rail mission, which just so happens to be my favorite missions in the game. But I was really tired and I had a really bad performance, but I was able to beat it no problem. And finally, for our final mission, it's a three lap race with Shadow, and this track might just be my favorite track in the game simply because of how interactive it is, like taking these shortcuts by grabbing out with your hands at the right time. S rank jumps, grabbing every shortcut, and getting on rails, I was way ahead of the computer. This race, I actually felt like I was winning because of my performance. I won this race in a landslide. And that was the end of Team Dark Story. And surprise, there is a final story. At this point, it had been 2 hours and 45 minutes of Sonic Free Riders. But we were so close to beating the game. In the final story, we found out that King Doc has a final race for us against an ultimate robot. But before that, surprise, we find out that King Doc is actually Dr. Eggman. So now we need to race Eggman's ultimate robot for a final, final race. Okay, last race, lock in. This is the end, chat. We made it this far. Don't worry. I think the game will carry me to a win. Dude, this race is actually kind of hard, bro. I lost my first attempt and realized that the final race in this game is actually kind of challenging. As annoyed as I may seem, I'm actually slightly happy that I have to work to beat the game. I was truly banking on the game for carrying me to victory. Okay, now I know I need to lock in. Now I know, now I know I need, I, okay, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, give me that air. Nice. Okay, lock in. All right, first place, lock in. Lock in, bro. Boost. Boost. W.
With our second attempt, not too bad. But the story isn't over here. Eggman finally reveals himself to be King Doc, shocker, after this race and says he's been recording all the racers' data to create the ultimate racing gear and then challenges Sonic to a race. And now we have another final race. And man, was it not so easy. I messed up. I messed up. Not even trying to jump. Okay, bro. Oh, come on! Dude, staying, even standing straight is so hard in this game. Yeah, sensing issues are huge right now. Nah, bro, I lost. You can get it. You got it last time, you can get it again. What? Are you serious? I jumped for no reason? I was struggling, I was losing hope, and I was genuinely crashing out. Oh my god, did I just rocket myself? Come on, bro. I'm getting hit by every NPC in the game right now. Bro, where are you going, Sonic? All you had to do was go straight. All you had to do was go straight. Bro, I'm not even reaching out on the left side. What are you doing? I think you won again, chat. I think I lost again. When all hope was lost, I finally beat Eggman. No, I think I won. 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 I think I won! I think I won! Yeah! <laughs> With tears of joy, I was excited to witness the end of Sonic Free Riders. But guys, remember that robot? That only means one thing. Hey, uh, does he look funny to you? Ah, look out! He could explode at any minute! You guys have got to get out of here! Oh my god, chat. It was Metal Sonic?! Don't tell me you want No way. No way. There's another race against Metal Sonic. As much as I called it lazy writing, they did get me with this plot twist. So GG's to Sega. Nevertheless, the show must go on. Enjoy my final, 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 final race. This is the same map. I'm locked in now, chat. Give me that S rank. Just because TikTok's in here and we're popping off. I'm gonna do a 360 jump for you guys. I'm gonna do a 360 jump for you guys, TikTok. S plus, baby! That's right! Yo, we're cooking right now, chat! Get on that reel, at least. Get on that reel. Get on that reel. Get on that reel. Get on that reel. No! What the heck? How did I mess up that bad? Alright, for TikTok. Okay, well, you guys, I was at 360, but I was too tired. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we cooked, boys! Don't use in the chat, TikTok! And that was the end of Sonic Free Riders. I truly love the Sonic Riders spin-off games. They were a core part of my childhood, and it's really sad to see this series die with a game that got such bad reception because of how poor this game's controls were. I'll be honest. Once you get used to the controls of Free Riders, it really isn't that bad. Sure, it has its issues on multiple occasions, and yes, a Sonic Riders with actual controls and a proper story would have been much better. But for what it's worth, Sonic Free Riders really is not that bad of a game. It has its charm, when it works it works, and when it doesn't, it definitely doesn't. And yeah, the story is not good, but you can tell that's not what they were going for here anyways. It was really just meant to be a fun way to have a Sonic experience on the Kinect, which I think they really did a good job. Would I ever boot up Free Riders again though? That's like asking me if I'd boot up any Kinect game again. So, no. But I definitely had fun streaming and making this video. If you enjoyed this video, please follow me on Twitch because I have way more Sonic streams like these coming in the future. And most definitely, subscribe. Thank you for watching.